Hi, I'm Michael. I'm Ash. And we're back with another new game. This game is called Net Zero. Uh, now, to play this game, all you need is paper and pencils. We've got textures, we've got a page each, uh, and a deck of regular playing cards. Um, and you want to go from aces all the way to ten. So picture cards removed. Hey, I saw a 19. Now, we're using um, school-friendly playing cards, so we've got ones in there instead of aces. Oh, I, oh. Had, I saw a 19. Don't worry about 19s, bud. I saw it in there. There is no 19s, gorgeous. No. All right. So to play, um, to start with, each player is dealt a hand of five cards. And the aim of the game is on each round to make an equation that equals exactly zero. Okay. And each card you use to make that equation um is worth a point to you so you're trying to use as many of your cards as possible to make an equation that equals zero um and that would be how many points you score so now are you happy for me to go first i'll give you some more thinking time okay so i'm going to do i'll just do a nice easy one six take away six equals zero so then i would record that here six take away six equals zero I bank these two cards, that's two points for me, and these three stay out here. Okay, so now I've just done mine, over to you. I'm going to do what? Two plus eight is ten, take away two plus eight, and that equals zero. Okay, so two plus eight is ten. Take away. Oh, and what do you need to put around this? Brackets. Brackets. Okay, beautiful. So write it in. So now you bank those four cards. So how many points have you got? Four. And I've only got two points. And then we would go again. So, second round. Two more cards for me. And one, two, three, four more cards for you. Okay. So, so I've got one, Nash. How many cards have you? All five. Mm. Do you want to hear it? Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to do nine. Take away four. Take away four. Take away one. So nine take away four. Take away that's equal to zero. And I'm going to put all of that in brackets. And at the front, I'm going to put two times. Ah. So two times zero is... Zero. So I'm going to write it like this, Nash. Tell me if this is right. Two times, open the brackets, nine, take away four, take away four, take away one. So the brackets part equals zero. Yes. So then two times zero is zero. So that's a five pointer. Okay, now play continues until the, you don't have enough cards to start a, a new hand. So we're getting quite low here. If we make some large equations on this turn, I would say this will probably be probably be our last turn. There you go, Nash. All right, six and four is ten. Easy. What? I got all five, Nash. Look at this. Nine and seven. And then I'm going to put all of this in brackets. Six plus four plus six. <laughs> so I'm going to do like this. So nine plus seven, take away six plus four plus six equals zero. And I got a five pointer. All right, what could you do? I can do that, sir. Yes, that's an easy one. Times nine plus, plus so could I do... 10 times 10 plus. Hold on, there's a way you could get a pair of. There's a way you could get two cards and another two cards to be the same number, I think. Huh. Well, look, you've got 7, 8, 9, 10. So leave that 10 there. Mm -hmm. How can you get these pairs to add up to be the same? That and that. Uh, so check it. 18 and. Uh, no, that's not it. All right, try again. Have a mm. think about it. 
these two together. 17. Yep. And then I'm going to just times that to. Okay, so tell me, I'm going to describe your equation. So you tell me what it's going to be. I'm going to write it so it's nice and clear. So 8 plus 9 take away 7 plus. No, so if you do another plus here, it's going to add the 10 on. So you want to take the 7 and take the 10. Yeah. Yeah? So, so you've got 17, then you're taking 17. Times. And this all. Times 10. But this all needs to go in the bracket, doesn't right. it? Uh -huh. So we do this as one big thing, because this will get you the zero. Zero times 10 is. Zero. And I already know. So the way we check if the game's over would be we just see one, two, three, four, five. There's enough cards for me. There's only two for Nash. So that means that we're finished. And then the way we check the winner would be just to count up our cards. So you want to do that quickly now? You win by one. You win by one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. I had 16. Yeah, I know. All right, so Nash wins by one. Probably worth noting, this idea of using brackets and bod mass, Nash learnt that from observing me making moves and trying to sort of understand and interpret it. So he's very early in his understanding about using brackets. But the more we play this game and the more we talk about it in context, the better his understanding will get. Uh, net zero, deck of cards, paper and pencil. We hope you enjoy it and we will see you next time. Bye.